I'm back talking about sci-fi music. In a previous video I listed my top 10 sci-fi movie soundtracks, but now we're moving to the realm of TV with my personal top 10 sci-fi TV theme tunes. As with the soundtracks video, YouTube will likely wipe the floor with this video when it comes to copyright claims. So if you like what I do and want to help the channel grow, perhaps join me over on my Patreon page where you can see videos like this early. Now that that's out of the way, off we go. Bear McCreary's Battlestar Galactica score is legendarily good, and if this list was for TV show soundtracks, it would likely take the top spot on this list. However, when it comes to theme tunes and getting stuck in my head, I have to give this spot to the original. There's no complex reason as to why this theme is so good. It's a classic orchestral space opera sound which was defined on the big screen by John Williams and Jerry Goldsmith. While McCreary's score for the reboot is fantastic, the main theme just wasn't quite as memorable for me. That being said, McCreary's own rendition of this track for the reboot with added Japanese taiko drums was more than awesome. It's a theme which epitomizes outer space adventure, but still has its own identity which is unmistakably Battlestar. From a traditional orchestra to some truly weird sounds, Farscape's whole presentation was designed to be strange and otherworldly, and the music perfectly captures that. And while the first two seasons have a terrifically weird headbanger of a theme, for this spot I'm going to give it to seasons 3 and 4's more epic theme. It keeps that signature Farscape sound, but the mood of the track has changed. The scope of the show has grown to a galactic threat level, and the music reflects the darker tone and higher stakes of the show wonderfully. Christopher Frankie played a big part in crafting the identity of Babylon 5 as a unique sci-fi universe. While a lot of incidental music throughout the show suffered from oversampling and reused cues, when Frankie got a hold of his actual orchestra, great things happened. But when it came to picking my personal favourite rendition of the theme from each individual season, I simply couldn't decide between seasons 3, 4 and 5, so I just decided to include all of them. I absolutely love the bombastic drums and metallic sting of Season 3. But the unrelenting pace of Season 4 as the major plot threads are finally coming to a head gets the blood pumping like nothing else. Just like the show itself, the individual themes of Babylon 5 are difficult to appreciate in isolation, but instead are best enjoyed as a whole. David Arnold's score for the original Stargate movie made it onto my previous list, and Joel Goldsmith's new rendition of it for SG-1 was terrific. However, for this spot, I want to give it to Joel Goldsmith's own original theme for, in my opinion at least, the superior spin-off show, Stargate Atlantis. It does a fantastic job of reproducing the sound of David Arnold's original work from the movie, but crafts a new identity for itself, absolutely nailing the Stargate musical sound but uniquely suited to Stargate Atlantis.
Now you knew Star Trek was going to show up here eventually, but I'm not going to give the top spot to a track show, but I'm also not going to give this spot to the shows you may expect. Alexander Courage's theme for the original series is great, but in my opinion the best version of that theme was the reorchestration by Michael Giacchino for the Kelvin Timeline movies. And the highly memorable Next Generation theme was really just Jerry Goldsmith's theme from several of the movies, repurposed for that show. So instead, I want to give this spot jointly to Deep Space Nine and Voyager. Composed by Dennis McCarthy and Jerry Goldsmith respectively, DS9 and Voyager's themes are just as memorable and singable as most of Star Trek's other great music. Deep Space Nine's slow build-up to a triumphant fanfare sends chills up the spine. Whereas Voyager's theme is almost a balletic piece, which perfectly encapsulates the lone ship's intrepid journey home. Quintessential Star Trek music, which I never get tired of listening to. Doctor Who has a weird place in sci-fi pop culture, and I can only imagine how viewers at the time first reacted to its truly odd-sounding theme tune, and despite the many renditions before and after, for me, composer Murray Gold absolutely nailed it in his first attempt. <laughs> Once a bizarre little tune hammered out on a few keyboards, Murray Gold made sound truly epic and adventurous, but also strange and kind of frightening. The perfect embodiment of this era of Doctor Who, which is yet to be topped in my opinion. Simply outstanding work. When it comes to sci-fi anime, many people may expect me to bring up Space Battleship Yamato again. However, the reason the score for the live-action adaptation was on my previous list is because I think that's the best version of that theme. So instead, for this spot, I chose to go for something a little bit different. Now I could get into some long-winded analysis about the style of the music and how it reinforces the world building, like I did in my Why Is Awesome video on Cowboy Bebop. But really, I put this theme here because it just fucking slaps. Nothing else to say really, it's just awesome. In my recent video on Fringe, I berated the X-Files a lot, and while I do think it's long past its prime and should have really ended in its first movie, the theme is absolutely fantastic. The 
the famous echoing piano being a complete accident in the recording booth is certainly a happy one, as it provides the perfect backing for the mood of this track. And while the signature outer space whistle has been parodied numerous times, it's really the main component which gets this theme lodged in your mind. It really entices you to learn what the great mystery is and what dark secrets could be hiding behind closed doors. Something a bit more recent now. While Star Trek will pretty much always be my favourite IP, The Expanse is probably the best sci-fi show on TV right now, and Clinton Shorter's main theme is a big part of the show's excellent world building. Much like his great work on District 9, Shorter finds the ideal balance between culturally distinct musical sounds and the traditional cinematic orchestra. The actual mood of the theme is almost tragic. Despite all the progress being seen in the opening credits of the show, there is still so much suffering, and the theme paints a sobering picture of this universe. A quick honourable mention now, friend of the channel Space Doc announced an original sci-fi audio drama a while back called The Sojourn, and recently he enlisted, yours truly, to guest write an episode in Volume 2. Thanks to that I was able to get a preview of some material, which is why I asked if I could give a shout out to the brilliant main theme for the series. Composer Sam Redfern's rearrangement of Taylor Davis's song Wilderness becomes this incredible sweeping and epic track, yet retains a sense of personal intimacy. It's the perfect piece to go on an outer space adventure with. If The Sojourn was a live action show, I'd definitely give it a spot on this list, but for now I'm happy to give it an honourable mention here. I want to make it clear as well, Space Doc is not paying me to say any of this, I just think it's a really cool universe and a great story. Absolutely check out the videos on Space Doc's channel about the show. Now for the number one spot, we've heard grand orchestral sounds and epic sweeping tunes, but for the number one spot, when I really sat down to think about it, there was really only one song which it could be. Take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. I don't care, I'm still free, you can take the sky from me. Take me out to the black. Tell them I ain't coming back Burn the land and boil the sea You can't take the sky from me Firefly is ultimately about freedom, and even though Serenity is an old rust bucket and life on the frontier is hard, the ship provides the show's central character with that freedom he craves. And isn't that what we all crave? Isn't that why we all want to go out there and explore space in our own ships? It's an idea and an experience which is enriching on a personal as well as a societal level. And Sunny Rhodes' The Ballad of Serenity embodies that feeling like nothing else can. Thanks for watching. What are some great sci fi themes I missed? Like I said, this video will likely get copyright claimed up the ass, so helping the channel grow by joining me over on my Patreon would be a big help. Speaking of which, I'd like to quickly thank all of my patrons who are now appearing on screen. Have a good one, and as always, live long and prosper.